Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's video we are going to build the VE Direct to USB cable on a cheap base on our own. I have a couple of projects which I want to do with more Victron components and I realized it's getting more and more expensive because I'm buying all the components by myself, not sponsored or anything like that. And I have to somehow connect them to my Raspberry or want to connect them to my Raspberry. And those cables, they can be expensive when you have to buy a couple of those. Those Victron VE Direct to USB cables, they're great. They make components from Victron work with the Raspberry Pi and transmit data to the Raspberry Pi so I can see them online at VRM portal and then I can just work on them or see it remotely and see what's going in see what's going out how much I'm consuming how much I'm getting back into the system so it's a really cool product but when I can build it myself cheaper I might solve the problem spending a lot of money let's see how it works I wanted to make it as cheap as possible and also want to get it as fast as possible. So I got my products, which I will use for this video of Amazon. And those are two products. Um, this USB cable, on one side it's USB, it's a pretty standard USB, it's blue. I like it. <laughs> I definitely know which one's my DIY cable. And on the other side, there are four wires coming out. Uh, there's also a nice description on Amazon. Somewhere, which you can, which you should see here now, a picture for wires. What is what? So you don't have to measure it. If you just want to go ahead and and the second product. Oh, by the way, this comes. Um, I will put a link in for a pack of three. You can also buy this, I think, in a one pack if you want to, if you prefer it. Further and try to find the connector for the Victron components. Um, I'll put in the name, which is basically this little that guy little wires as you can already see here there are four wires which have a it's a yellow white red and black and the opposite is <laughs> white green black and red whoever thought cool we'll just connect the wires which are having the color matching well that might not completely work we need a wiring diagram and I went ahead and I made one already I printed it for myself but I also put it in here. This wiring diagram is essential that the USB is communicating with the Victron component correct. And there is a ton of different opinions out there, I feel like, uh, but there's also documentation in there, which I put also in the link in the description, about the uh, um, Victron protocol they use. So, long story short, I did a research for you. I put it together, I tested it with uh, the components, what I have. I'll show you now what you have to connect how, but if you just wanna stop the video, Thanks for watching. <laughs> this is the this is the wiring diagram. But I'm going ahead and wire everything together so you can see what I'm doing. And maybe you need some guidance on that. The first thing you want to do is just give you as much cable as you can. I'll go ahead and take one of those automatic wire strippers. One of those, which are very helpful for me. I'll cut those connectors off first. We don't need them. I don't need them. Next I will go ahead and just give it enough slack. Okay, just that it's long enough to connect. I will strip the wires individually. And that's what it looks like when they're stripped. Twist them a little bit. So thin copper wires, very thin. And on the other side, we have this little friend. And we do have already strip wires, but I need a little bit more. I'll also go ahead and uh, de-isolate them a little bit more, longer, so I can drill them together better. That's what they look like. We need to connect them according to the wiring diagram. We have a couple options to do that. One easy might be one of two of those Vago clamps, which are pretty simple. You just connect those wires, but you need four of them. That's one option. A second option would be just drilling them together, insulating each individual wire with uh, electric tape, and then just take a heat shrink. That will be my preferred option. You can also go ahead and uh, solder them if you prefer that. But I'll go ahead and we'll drill them. Therefore, you will need a heat gun or a lighter gun would be preferred. I'll go ahead and we'll drill red and yellow together. I will take some electric 
tape already, just to make sure they're tied together, they're not going anywhere. That was excessive piece I took here, but that's what it is. Next one will be shorter, promise. Huh. The next one will be black and black. Oh, they're matching, that's nice. Take a little electric tape, a little less this time. All right, the next one would be white and white. Matching colors again, nice. It's insane how much it costs. You know, if you imagine you have to buy a couple of those because you have a big environment. I mean, you spend a lot of money then on the Victron components. Maybe you don't want to build it yourself. For me, it's just out of curiosity how those things work. To understand it, do research on it, figure it out. There's a lot of stuff online you can learn from. There's a lot of diagrams. Also tons of videos from other people. And just putting the information together, what you need to do for your system, especially if you have a patchwork system, like a couple of Victron components, couple of other components, that's the way to go. The last one will be green and red. Those are the only two wires which are <laughs> left. Depending on uh, your environment, you might want to consider soldering. It should be a solid connection. Is it really heat shrink when it's not shrinking anymore? Let's see, we need to get one from the other side. For my, Germans, for my German audience, my friends who are watching, I can't say it enough, Fusch am Bau. I'll continue this. <laughs> All right, let's start with the heat gun. It might be good enough. Feels like a solid connection. Wrap the other part with electrical tape because I want to have it as protected as possible, all exposed wires. We got it. We do have this connection up here. USB and the Victron connect and a not very long cable. If I need to, I can get a USB extender cable specifically for the products I'm putting into the description. This little connector cable and a USB. For those two links specifically, the, especially the color wiring is different from product to product. It's only for this specific product. So if you have a different colored uh, product, there might be different uh, wiring applying. So please make sure that you work accordingly. And what needs to be done next? Put them in your system, test them, see if it works. If you need to expose them to some environments, make sure you get the proper wrapping for that. It is as simple as I showed you. Just use the wiring diagram. That's how it works. That works with this product links below and in the description and I'll connect it now. Here look at those. I did them differently. Each individual wire has its own heat shrink and now they will be covered with an additional heat shrink. We could add more here for the front but I want to keep a I have a couple different options. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like to see more stuff like that. I'll continue the journey with a couple more Victron components as well as other stuff, what I like to do in my DIY world and also what I like to do in my uh, daily living. In case you want to see more of this stuff, please like it. Put your questions below. Thanks for watching everyone. Tschüss!